And today on Gardener's World, the Riley and <coughs> tree and you. Now, Tony, tell us, where on earth did this tree get its unusual name? Well, you see, the Riley and <coughs> tree draws its name from the noise that people make when it sticks one of its spiked tentacles up their arse. When it sticks one of their spiked tentacles up there, <coughs> it's just like that. Okay. So. Off from beginning an episode of Blink all of a sudden. Yeah, I can't do this here. They disappoint. They disappoint. At least I got the stuff now. It's a start. Although, can I even develop these without having the red light? I don't think I can, can I? Hmm. No, probably not. A little disturbed by the fact that something's clearly broken out of this bloody place as well. Yep. Broken from the inside, it says. Not good. The statue's moving in the darkness. That doesn't seem to have changed. And again, this isn't really the type of game that would include that kind of thing. You'd have the noises to make you think it was happening, but nothing would actually happen. Light bulb. No. All covered in mould, its glance can move a sad expression. Yeah, have a light bulb. No. Is there really nothing else in here? Apart from the acid? Seems like a waste somehow. I mean, these games were developed by like two or three people, right? Even doing the 8 bit pixelation art style, that's, that's a lot of effort for like a single room with a single item, you know? Anything on the path? The old ruins lay this way. They said there might be gold in then their Roman ruins. Bambi, no! The corpse of a deer, its abdomen is torn open. It looks like it's recently dead. Well, know what I gotta do. That's red. The bulb is now grotesquely covered in blood. I can develop my film in safety, so this animal has not died in vain. Could at least harvest some venison from it, make use of the kitchen. The entire pantry full of spices and things to it. And again, Divit went to a boarding school and shit. Probably so posh she'd never been in a kitchen until a couple of days ago. Dear, dear, dear. What is the world coming to? The end, apparently. Uh, right, let's do this. Don't mind me, Alexander. Just gonna develop some photographs for you, gibbering, jabber insanely in the background. Perhaps they'll have some sort of relevance to your condition. Perhaps they'll drive me mad. And then we can gibber together. Wouldn't that be nice? Hmm, nothing creepy about this at all. Oh, well, let's develop the shit. Right, vitriol acid first, if I remember correctly. From like five minutes ago. Yep, yeah, there you go. Always cause a strong acidic reaction. Next is the cyanide. Apply the liquids in the correct order. All that remains is to rinse the plate. Hey, just like washing the dishes. What do you know? That's how easy it is to develop films, apparently. An image is appearing on the plate. It's a photograph of Anthony and Alexandra. Two people who knew each other. But I already knew that. Drink of water? Nope, apparently not. Goddamn rat people. Stay in that fucking painting. And the bulb's exploded, so no more films being developed. Ah, shit, that's like paying Project Zero all over again. I hope that'll actually go... I mean, I've got Project Zero 1 on my PS2. Perhaps I should actually play that at some point, but... The only reason I played number 3 is out of the lot of them, that's the one I like the most. Even if it is a bit ridiculous at times. Still never played number 2. So if someone wants to donate cash for me to get number two, you can do that through the PayPal. Just go over to the uh, the Twitch stream and I'll show you how. What do you know about this photograph that we're all in? Do you recognize it? Take a look. It is you and our old friend Anthony. The guy who hung himself. Oh, I should have mentioned that earlier, sorry. Someone else is in the background. Who is the third figure? Does he mean something to you? It's probably you, you twit. Photograph of all you from boarding school, right? It's a piece of clockwork. A hand. Ah, see, I knew it. I knew my puzzle senses were tingling. 
this changed at all? Just before I go do anything? Oh, right, yes. Okay, so quarter past six on this clock would be... Uh, three o'clock. Yeah? Big hands where the six is, that's on the quarter past. An actual clock, that'd be large hand on twelve, small hand on three. So, yeah, three o'clock, I think. No, no. This is the problem when a, a puzzle has a, a very simple solution. Especially if you're in a point and click game, you get paranoid, it's like, surely it can't be that simple. Not normally how it works in this sort of a genre. But, no, uh, three o'clock. Does seem to be it. So I'm guessing I go downstairs, I fix the grandfather clock, set that to three o'clock, throw the switch, and that should be that. I think. Should I be concerned that Alexandra's gibbering about the bird? The bird! Ah, oh, goddammit. Yep, yeah, okay, do it this way. I put the clock hand back in place. Let's have a gander. No, oh, it's gonna take a while. Clickety 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 click. Clickety 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 click. If I had an unlock stick, I could just rotate it by now. Clickety 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 click. Not bitter at all. Clickety 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 click. Fucking point and click. I have blisters on my finger by the end of this. Clickety 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 click. Throw the switch. There it is. From that way comes madness. Ooh, suddenly fear chords. It's all out today. The bird has burst out at the stroke. Its beak is now open. That's mine now. There was a key inside, of course there was. Putting keys inside animals, that's pretty much what this game does. There's only one locked door I've encountered, and that's that one down to the basement. Just was well, only an outside access for the basement, come to think of it. Seems rather unusual. Usually there's one inside and out, isn't there? Carpet of Asian origin. Okay. Yet. Mold and dust cover the portrait, making the subject indistinguishable. Okay. Anything in the drawers? A piece of furniture has several drawers. Thank you, Devitt. Informative as always. There are the remains of a Roman mosaic behind this wall, but I can't distinguish anything clearly. He built a house over the top of the ruins of a Roman fortress, really? That's hardcore. Asian statue in pure condition. Nothing to say about this one? This one that looks mostly alive? Old Rubens. Seems to be a part of a. Yeah, you were literally built over the top of a Roman settlement. Interesting. One way to get a good foundation, I suppose. Marble's pretty. pretty solid. A book written in a language unknown to me. There is a scrawled annotation written in English on one of the margins. This and no other is the function of the serum we manufactured at the boarding school when we were young. It is something we didn't understand at the time. To accompany the mind to the proscenium of the theatre, and there help us look behind the curtain that separates the world of men from the land of truth. To look, I say, if anything, apprehend an image of what lives there. Just that. Will the hoopé allow us to raise the curtain enough to walk off the stage and go beyond? I think you've had enough of the hoopé by the sound of it, mate. Just saying. Just saying. Cage full of leftovers and dirt. Animals have been captive here. Innumerable jars full of murky objects suspended in formaldehyde. I found a mad scientist lair. Jars and test tubes. Blah, blah. Clearly hidden doorway that I can't click on for some reason. A bunch of dust covered bakers, I suppose the fifth must be beakers, with repulsive liquids inside. A couple of developed fungi, unlabeled bottles, and lab equipment. That's just bad practice. I'll be throwing anything in there and not know it. No? Nothing to swipe? 
you've pocketed every single strange vial and whatnot you've come across so far to this. Why stop now? Mm, smells of vinegar. Add my own acid? Nope. Can I add my acid to anything? No, apparently not. What if I still got these, actually? That's what's throwing me. What if I still got them if I apparently don't need them? Usually when you no longer have a use for something in a, in a video game situation, it just automatically gets deleted from your inventory. Half the time you don't even get told why it's happening or that it has indeed happened. Okay. That's apparently that, though. Hmm. Seriously, nothing in here? I feel cheated. Perhaps I need to go trigger something else to make that door open. It seems like the most logical conclusion. Yeah, everything's still the same, though. Still ruins, still a mural. Still a bunch of... Ooh, wait. You can I mess with... Inside, there's a garden shop. Okay. I couldn't do that before, could I? I didn't think I could. Well, never mind. Let's go digging for bodies. Burke and Hare ain't got nothing on this. The fit one-man action, you know. Someone's been borrowing sound files from Eternal Darkness. Ah, crap. Wooden box. Rusty. Ooh, can I pour my acid on it? It's a classic puzzle for this genre. Yes, I can. Just melt the lock. Ugh. The bone stealer. Skeletal fingers of the creature are clutched a rolled up canvas. It's a map of the stars. So what? A cartographing bone stealer? It remains of a humanoid body with a grotesque animal aspect. Maybe an ape. It has a small collar engraved with the words Old Mike. Oh dear. There's a leaf of paper beside the corpse. Dear Alexander, undoubtedly your methods are definitely stronger than mine. How did you manage to get results with such clarity? On another note, my epiphany with the treatise of alchemy was not accidental. When examining the text closer, I come to the conclusion that for a time, Raymondus Lully sought the same thing as we did. In his account, he described a formula that he calls Hoope. Yes, like the legendary bird. You know, the things that go high in the sky. Very high, indeed. Yes, yes. It closely resembles the serum with which we have worked so far, except for minor differences. It does have quite much lead. As asked us. It's a pity that you tell me about old Mike. I hope he gets better soon. Vendete Nisquis Gat. To Vivian Paul's Gat. July 2nd, 1887. Well, it's a dead ape in the basement. Well, in the garden. Fortunately, not the strangest thing to be happening around here. Not even slightly. Oh, good, a star map. Uh, star map for the triangle in the sky. Hmm. No idea what it's used for, though. Not yet, anyway. Well, there have been a couple of places we've been able to look up at the night sky as we've been walking around. Might have something to do with those? Hmm. Okay. We've got everything we can get from here. Let's go back and investigate. There's a couple of different places I can think of where we can actually see the sky from here. That sounds like Alexandra. I'd recognise that girly scream anywhere. Alexander! Alexander! I'm almost there! Just a few screens away! Alexandra! He's gone. It's a miracle! Jesus Christ. First genuine scare of the game. Some diary pages on a wheelchair. On the wheelchair. The paper has been ripped apart. Someone stripped it from a book hastily. October 31st, 1891. I am writing this in the light of my desk lamp, hoping to be able to remember all of this when the bird finally sings and the sun dispel the sun's blessing dispels the dark shadows of the mind. During the whole afternoon a strong wind hit the valley. So strong that it cracked the larger branch of an old oak tree in the garden. 
I find it hard to get to sleep during these nights, so I read a lot while accompanying the professor. Ace, is this you? I don't really know when exactly I fell asleep. I was awakened by a chill in the night, which was seeping through the open window. I looked outside and I saw him. The professor was miraculously awake. What was my joy to see him standing on the balcony, watching the valley with true ex yeah, a truly serene expression, enjoying the fresh and calm air right after the storm. I felt that a blessing had fallen upon the house, and for a moment I felt immensely ho happy. I stared at him without saying anything for a while, afraid of dispelling the vision, and I hadn't believed it possible for this to happen for so long. And then, in the midst of the silence, I heard a sound that froze me in my seat and snatched the calm. It was a, such a terrible chill that I will never forget. A loud noise beside me, low-pitched as the drag of a slab. Mr. Alexander Snore was pleasantly asleep in his bed. I've already made a decision. I will leave this house. Yes, yeah, well, when your boss starts climbing into bed with you in the middle of the night, it's probably the best idea. Let's be honest. Yep, still pictures of seagulls. Flocks of seagulls, in fact. Okay. It's holding something. You now, whatever it is, it's mine now. It's a lens mounted to a metal ring. Or oh, a telescope part. Or a camera lens. Can I use it on the. surroundings? No? I assume you want me to hold this up to the night sky and locate the Summer Triangle. No? Really? Starlight brings some brightness to the forest. Seems like the biggest clue as any to me that you want me to use this item on the... on the thing to locate the Summer Triangle. Game says nay though. Can't use it on the stars, can't use it on the map either. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Do, 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 do. See, it occurs to me that there's a door that I said would probably open. Once so Yep, yeah, there we go. Fucking well knew it. Ah, I spent like five minutes walking around in circles. Hell is this? Oh, you're kidding me. You want me to actually outline the bloody triangle, don't you? Uh Oh, God. Guesswork? Nope. Guesswork ain't gonna cut it. Not today. Not today. Hmm. Okay. Perhaps if I use this, will this highlight what I need? No, not really. Well, that's sad. Oh, it's got the symbols, hasn't it? Okay. So if that's supposed to be... There you go. That should be right, shouldn't it? It's like a weird circle and that. This was like a, a cross with a weird wiggly bit. Uh, so it went down, down, down. And back up and like a little squiggle off to the right. If I go up from here, that should be... yeah. Okay, so that one... I think. Yeah. The last one... Was... I think it's where this little symbol down here is. See, cross, cross... Yeah! Nice one, I did it! Okay, cool. Correct. This is the Summer Triangle. This helps me how exactly? No, seriously, how is that supposed to help me? It hasn't actually done anything, so it's like shone a, a beam of light down the shaft, now I've got the thing at the right angle. It doesn't seem to do anything. As far as I can tell, actually I can't click on anything else either. Okay, what the heck do you want from me here again? Wooden secretary's desk, beautifully carved. Flip top is locked by a strange mechanism. Ah, right, so I need to yeah, I need to remember what the symbols are and then put them into that weird locking mechanism. Alright, so it's that. 
uh, the hatred of the lion through it, and basically a V. Or an Omega symbol. One of the two. Right. No, 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 no. Yes. Right. Hatred of a lion through it. No. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, yeah. And there you go. Omega. There's a small cabinet with two slots for syringes, but only one of them remains. Ooh, is this the hoopé? That's your brain on hoopé, kids. Keep that in mind. An envelope with a letter inside. Dear Alexandra, I'm so sorry to hear about old Mike. We have put him to rest in his favourite place. After weeks of unsuccessful attempts, I've managed to distill... Oh, distill? The alchemic formula based on the notes you sent me. Certainly, you're a master of the craft. The subject reacted to the serum as usual, rapidly entering into a state of waking sleep. Suddenly, the convulsion stopped, and since then, he's not responding to any kind of stimulation. So you found a drug that made people brain dead? Last of all work, gentlemen. He's remained in the state for many days. My diagnosis is brain dead. What should be our next step, Alexandra? I'm worried they'll call the cops. We done fucked up this time. We done fucked up. Yeah, we know. August 23rd, 1887. Several months after the first letters, in fact. Interesting. Hello, Alexandra. You're basically Walter White in this situation, aren't you? You wanna cook some meft of it? A variety of circle. Ah, uh, I think I see where this is going. You want me to provide you with the syringe so you can hoop me up? This is what you asked me to search for, is it not, Alexandra? Considering you're apparently perfectly awake and competent. The last door. Zalifal! You sure you want this man jabbing you with drugs to it? The last door. We can cross together. What should I do? I am waiting for you. Here in the mist. It's nearby. I can hear it. Nearby? What is nearby? What can you hear? I hear the beating of its wings. He knows we are afraid. I'm ready. Sit down. Okay. I see no reason not to go through with this. No reason at all. Nah, you got a question mark for a face. <laughs> uh. Oh, right, it's ring, yes. Okay. Paying attention, really, shouldn't I? Just fill now. Jab it into my veins! Ah, shit, fuck. I can see all of time in space! Do you think we'll find any clue about the Vite's whereabouts? i check the garden. Man probably thinks he's a dandelion by now. I'm just saying. The police have taken almost everything. We have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully they have overlooked something. We can but hope. Or who pay? Ah! Sorry, that was terrible even by my standards. Yep, so it's definitely a house. What about this room? There is a sealed letter between this table and the wall. It looks like her Beechworth never sent it. I think it is best that you read it. Herr Doctor. Dear Sir Alexander, Please, you must reflect on this. We do not yet know what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way. An open way for whatever lives on the other side. Vendetti ni, si quis, skit. Vivian pull skit. Indeed. And suddenly, they were in solid hell. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically the end. Yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And tune in in a couple of days' time for Thief, with any luck.
basically going to start December for me. Hey, Alexandra. See you around, folks.